Hey everybody, thanks for tuning into this week's video here on A-Man's Journey. Was just looking back at the last video that I posted. It's hard to believe it's already been two weeks. Time flies when you're uh, busy and you're having fun. Uh, let me get you guys up on what's been going on with HMR. Um, so two weeks ago, I lost 4.1 pounds. And then last week, I only lost 1.7, which I have to remind myself is still down but it's really frustrating if I'm honest because I know that I'm putting in so much more work I'm never eating basically more than like 1600 calories and then putting in the PA actually the day before my weigh in I had well over 1500 PA which my goal is 2000 for the week I had 1500 in one day that's a little bit frustrating but as I continue to tell myself it's a process. I didn't put the weight on overnight. It's not gonna come off overnight. And as long as it's going down, I just need to be okay with that. I'm doing what I can, and that's all I can do. Being that I'm not the one that's paying for me to be on the HMR plan, I am always aware of that price tag. So I changed shake types. Now the 120s, the price looks like it's about half as much, but I didn't realize this until I had gotten around to ordering them, that it's not the same amount of servings. The problem that I'm having is the taste. The taste of the 70s was fine. They gave me the 800s to try and it was eh, a little different, a little, it was sweeter. I didn't really care for that. So when I went and got the 120s, I figured, you know, taste-wise, should be pretty similar. I was so wrong. If I would have started the HMR plan with these, the HMR plan would have been tossed out the window. Let's put it that way. But uh, once this canister is done, I'm, I actually am going to call and find out whether I can return the second canister. If not, I will also finish the second canister. Uh... If I don't have to, though, I'm not going to. <laughs> In my last video, I talked a little bit about my dream to have this place where I can help people who want to make changes with their weight and their health. So I talked about this idea of uh, creating a name, and I am having all sorts of um, struggles. <laughs> with coming up with um, what I think would be a good name. When it comes to the name, I want to have something that is attention grabbing, that's catchy, that has uh, some meaning behind it. Doesn't necessarily have to say like exactly what the thing is, like Anthony's diet plan or whatever. It can, uh, but it doesn't need to. I've got some ideas. So let me run them by you. And before I start this list, I just want to say that these are literally just brainstorming. If something comes into my head, I write it down. All right, so I've got the list of names. I've got the man plan, obliterating obesity, active action, the trade in, coming change, Free from fat, committed, active plate, forever change, keep the change, you filthy animal, <laughs> taking action, journey together, your plan or your way, the best you, and then I think the one that I like at least so far, the most. Motivation and movement, or m, m So as I'm thinking about this dream and this thing, I'm also thinking about the HMR and what I'm doing there, and I, I really want to have that group dynamic. This So this name thing is not just necessarily for, you know, let's call it the gym, but maybe even for that group. At this point, I am just speaking things out and writing them down and seeing where God leads me and seeing where 
just all of this kind of goes. It's motivating me to, you know, want to build my knowledge, build skills around it, you know, do things like this, making videos, looking into meal, meal planning and just all of that kind of stuff. I want all of this to focus around weight loss, being healthy, movement, getting out living life, being active, making changes inside of you, uh, mentally and physically, learning, nutrition, dedicating yourself to something, transformation, community, strength. I think a big thing that I want to see out of this is me inspiring others so that they can be an inspiration themselves to other people so we can just you know kind of see that ripple effect something that i see in the hmr and i see it when i watch videos on things like crossfit that sense of community is very important i think to people in general but i know it's important to me and i want to create a place where like-minded people can come together and work together on their weight loss. I want people to be able to feel encouraged and have a place where they can find some accountability and people who are in the same position they are but they're wanting to make change. On the diet side of things I want to create something that's easy to stick to especially in the you know the weight loss part um, and then I really want to address that transition from that into the maintenance side of things. I think that's where most people fall off or fall through the cracks. Um, or there's just nothing for them in general. And then after that, I think there's a third component um, of like learning to live in that new body. So I think the... To me, when I'm looking at the diet, you've got the caloric restriction side of things, the transition from that into a maintenance, then really learning what living like that looks like. I want to be able to help people in all three of those, not just here's the weight loss plan that you can buy from me for $7.99, uh, you know, and then just walk away. I want to help people make that lifelong change that I've been longing for but not willing to put in the work for, for decades. I feel like I'm at a spot where that I am right now putting in that work and putting in the effort to make that change and I want other people to go with me. So if you've got any ideas, name wise, or just thoughts, I would love to hear what they are. So you can put those down in the you know comments below. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you're not subscribed, it'd be awesome if you did that. Share this video with someone who you think it might inspire or would enjoy it. And until next time, which will hopefully be next week, I'll see you guys later.